www.singlecall.movie.com Music Reviews Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to make a really simple LMMS theme, a theme that you can make on any computer with the basic software installed. Now, let's go for the file browser first and go to other locations to get to the computer. So go to the computer, go to user, we're gonna go share, we're gonna search for LMMS, right here, gonna go to the teams, click on the default team, copy it to some place else, like this. Yeah, let's rename it to theme, and let's open it. Now, we see that here we have a lot of the basic icons that appear in LMMS. They are the only ones that you can modify really easily. But you have to keep in mind that you cannot change the names of the files. So this must remain, for example, setup performance. And nor can you save uh, under another name um, the names of the variables in this style.css. But for starters, let's just go open this up with just the basic image viewer and let's modify it a little bit so what can we do here let's just rotate it very simple yeah we rotate it we saved it we're closing it yeah it's just this it's rotated now let's open up lmms and let's go for um, the settings now, in these settings, we can see that it has not changed. It should have changed here, but it didn't because we should select this, this artwork directory, which you can see right here. It's set to the default that we searched for earlier, but now we're gonna go change it. We're gonna go to this music folder, click on theme, don't open the folder, and just click choose. We're gonna click OK. We're going to restart LMMS. So let's restart LMMS. Go to settings to see our icon. See? So we changed the icon. Well, that's basically it. You can do a lot of things if you have another um, editor, another editor from the basic one that I've showed you. And you can change all of these pictures. You can even add uh, some of your pictures, but make sure to have make them have this, these names because otherwise the software in entirety will not know um, what to search for. It will search for a file with a specific name and it, it will not find it. So yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for the attention and yeah, see you another time.